When we were solving by graphing, we saw some unusual sorts of solutions to systems. In addition to the consistent independent systems with one solution, in which our graph consists of two lines that intersect at one point, we had consistent dependent systems with many solutions, in which our graph consisted of the same line drawn twice, and we had inconsistent systems with no solutions, in which the graph consisted of a pair of parallel lines that don't intersect anywhere. So far, with algebraic methods, we've seen what happens when we solve a consistent independent system. We combine the equations to eliminate one variable, use that to find the value of the other variable, and then we plug in to find the value of the first variable. When we solve a system that is consistent and independent algebraically, we find out the one solution. What happens if we have one of these other sorts of systems and try to solve it algebraically? Here's an example of a consistent dependent system. The system 2x minus 5y equals 10 and y equals 2 fifths x minus 2 is consistent dependent. If I were to graph this system, well, my first equation has x intercept at 5, y intercept at negative 2, my second equation has y intercept at negative 2, and then I go over 5, up 2. These are the same line. This system is consistent dependent. What happens if I try to solve it algebraically? Looking at the way this is set up, this is well set up for substitution. So I'm going to copy the first equation except wherever I see a y, I'm going to write in this expression. Um, now I need to distribute. I'm going to remember that this means plus negative 5. So we'll distribute 2x plus negative 5 times 2 fifths is negative 2x plus negative 5 times negative 2 is 10. Notice that when we combine like terms, 2x plus negative 2x, that's 0. We're left with 10 equals 10. In general, then, when we're solving a consistent dependent system algebraically, we'll end up with an equation that just says a number equals a number, that is, with no variables in it. And that equation will be true. That is, the two numbers will actually be the same. Okay, let's try an inconsistent system. So here's a system, 2x plus 3y is 12, 8x plus 12y is 24. If I were to graph this system, it would look something like this. This first equation has x-intercept 6, y-intercept 4, fill that in, and then the second equation has x-intercept 3, y-intercept 2, fill that in. Here we see two parallel lines. This system is inconsistent. It doesn't have a solution. Let's see what happens if we try to solve it algebraically. I'm going to try elimination because this system is well set up for it. All the variables on the left, all the constants on the right. And I think that if I multiply both sides of the first equation by negative 4, we'll get negative 8x minus 12y is negative 48. So our system is now 
negative 8x minus 12y is negative 48. Positive 8x plus 12y is 24. I bet you can see what's going to happen here. Add together the x's and we get 0. Add together the y's and we get 0 again. And, but add together the constants and we get negative 24. Right, this cannot possibly be true. 0 is not equal to negative 24, no matter what. And that's what's going to happen in general. We'll get a false equation in the form number equals number. There will be no variables, and the numbers will actually be different. So in summary, when we solve with algebraic methods, if after combining our equations we see an equation with variables, the system is consistent, independent, and we'll find one solution. If after combining our equations we see something that looks like a number equals a number, and it's true, they're the same number, then the system is consistent dependent. It has many solutions. And finally, if after combining our equations we see something that looks like a number equals a number, and it's false, different numbers, then the system is inconsistent and it has no solution. When we see a system with many solutions, we should write many solutions. When we see a system with no solution, we should write no solution. And when we see a system with one solution, we should just write the solution.